What's up y'all, welcome back to another record news video, and as you guys can obviously tell, I am not myself right now. I am back on my alt account because my main one isn't working. But never mind that, let's of course get into our record news this video. Now inside the rec center, you guys will notice that we have this new weekly shop. Titled the Boba and Bean Coffee Weekly Shop, as you guys can see we have like this little, you know, goat mascot here holding a boba drink, and we have our weekly shop. Comes in the form of like a coffee shop and stuff, we have some minor details and even like a little sign. Welcome back! Bond Blend is back and there's mascots needed. If mascots are needed, where are we signing up? You won't be counting this sheep, then we got like this little logo, some food on the table, a little cash register, and some juices. Oh wait, no, there's like bags of coffee beans, okay. Anyways, inside this shop, you guys will notice that we have this new stacked waffle hat, this croissant hat, these coffee bean earrings, this latte costume shirt, and then we have this barista set, which actually comes with, you know, barista pants and stuff like that. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. Oh, well, it like has beans on it and stuff, okay. Definitely not worth 4,000 tokens though. In addition with all these new items, here's some more items and stuff that came inside other weekly shops, but none of them are new. You guys can even sit on the sides here and stuff like that and talk to friends. There's even this little croissant. <coughs> we can't pick it up though. This is everything inside our rec center shop. There's no new Requiem Plus seasonal items or anything like that, but these are the items we're working with this week. Then this is our community board, as you guys can see. We have a new featured creator, which is Combi. You love to see it. Combi definitely does deserve it. And then we have featured rooms here. And then we just had some, you know, board improvements and changes with the Instagram tabs and stuff like that, and the YouTube tabs as well. Very cool. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. Now, I was going to tell you guys to go to the store, you know, shop menu inside your watch and stuff, but you guys will see that they added a new store button, so whenever you guys want to go to the store, you can just press it real quick. Anyways, if you guys decide to go to this menu, you guys will see that this is called the Coffee and Boba Cafe. And you guys can even go down here and see the new discounted offers, which are, you know, like 50% off. Be sure to check this out every week because it might have an item that you want but for cheaper. For this weekly rotation you guys will realize that we got a weekly rotation image as well and this is what you guys can see. For this weekly rotation we basically have all the items that are on it and stuff like that so nothing really too special that's going to be happening later this week. And that was pretty much our entire weekly shop for this week. Be sure to let me know what you guys think on this rotation. In other news, Requiem players have been noticing that they're getting this new UI for their expressions now. When players decide to use these emoji emotes it'll basically just put it in game chat and stuff like that, so it's like a little quick way to react and stuff. Now, with this React UI, I've been seeing a lot of negative feedback about it from the community, but me personally, I'm kind of like 50-50 with it. The reason why players don't really like this whole React UI is because Requiem did a split test where they got rid of the emotes or dances for players and only gave them the React UI, so I can definitely see the negative feedback coming from being stuck with this React UI compared to the emotes and stuff like that because we love the emotes in Rec Room. But of course, what do you guys think? I think personally that as long as they, you know, keep the React as like another side option along with dances and emotes and stuff like that, then I think that it's great. It doesn't really matter because it's just a new feature. But if Rec Room uses it as like a replacement for something, I am not really rocking with it, to be honest. Talking about UIs though, there was also another new UI that I had found too. Inside your customization menu, whenever you're looking for items and stuff like that, you may see this new Rec Items For You menu. It basically shows you all the items that you don't own and gives you a button to even go into the shop. And of course, what do you guys think about this new UI change? Me personally, I don't think it's too harmful and stuff like that, but I don't blame players not wanting to see this inside their UI though. Now, you guys know this wouldn't be a school video without a meme of the week, so I'm here to deliver. Let's roll this meme of the week. A box from one and only coach. It's one star. Gift for you. It's open up trap. It's a prom! Shadow, we got a prom! A prom! Yes, let's go! Anyways, I thought this meme was so funny. It was hilarious to me. I hope you guys liked it too. Oh, to top that off, I do have a little strange incident happening to this Requiem player where he just became a torso. That's right, just a torso. Let me explain this bug to you. First of all, you want to be a beam body avatar, and then you want to draw a large shape, which can be just a cube with your maker pen. Once you do that, you'll scale down the shape, and the more it's scaled down, the smaller you become in your body. You'll then undo it so you have the drawn shape before and then you'll jump onto the shape and then you'll press redo inside your maker pen and you'll just shrink and turn into a torso. As you guys can see the person that showed me this had demonstrated it in a video and what are your guys' thoughts? 
Now, there was a little funny bug that Voix, the Raccoon YouTuber, had talked about. I'm giving him cred here, but I don't know who came up with the bug and stuff like that. If you did come up with the bug, please let me know down in the comments below. But Voix had showed a series of images of beam body avatars with full body avatar hands, and I just want to say this is not a feature, this is a bug. Voix explains that the pumpkin suit is currently glitch inside of that room and it hides your arms when used with full body avatars. If you guys have the white pumpkin outfit too, that also works and stuff like that, and it should be just as simple was that apparently i'm not on my main account so i can't try it out for myself but it's okay did i mention that the trash bag cosmetic also does that as well it's basically a reskin of the pumpkin outfit so yeah it does that and the weird thing is is that all these outfits like the white pumpkin outfit the pumpkin outfit and the trash bag outfit aren't available for sale with just tokens so if you have these fits congrats you can do this bug but if you don't then tough luck Continuing onward, we pretty much just have one more bug to talk about. Now, it's been confirmed recently that Rec Room had patched double shot for bows indefinitely. Now with items inside of Rec Room, you can hold them in ways that you aren't, you know, normally supposed to hold them. But with the bow, Rec Room had made it so whenever you try to, you know, switch your grip, it automatically reverts to the original grip which the bow was in. But what happens if I told you that double shot wasn't really patched? Inside of Rooms 2.0 Rooms, you can still double shot, and it's been confirmed by a viewer who watches all my videos and stuff like that, so massive shout out to S+, Plus. I love you S+. Plus. And of course, if you guys have any other, you know, double shot news with the bow and stuff like that, feel free to leave a comment or something like that. And I'm nobody's man. Hey, welcome to my membership bit in my video. Yes, that's right. I have memberships and you can become one of them. If you guys don't know about my memberships, it's basically just a perk where you guys give me money every single month and you guys get a bunch of perks like being shouted out in all my videos or even seeing sneak peeks to the videos and stuff like that. So of course, if you guys are interested, check it out next to the subscription button. Anyways, massive shout out to all my pookies who do include the Dragon Boy, Bear to Bear, Nat the Pup, Mr. Ink, Jack Tutorial, Gasly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB Burning Owl, Yo, it's JK, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. Thank you for all the love, all my channel memberships, especially my squidlings as well. And of course, let's get back inside this video. Now, Rec Room has announced new room rewards for September. If you guys are curious about what's new with this new room rewards, basically, they say that a change is coming coming to the Room Rewards page on Creator Hub. Soon there will be a new tab that displays a summary of your room's results from the most recent month of Room Rewards, and that means you'll be able to see the final number of users across all metrics and what tier you reached, anytime you want. And just to clarify, this is only for the previous month and for C tier and higher. For example, in December you'll see your final results for November Room Rewards, and in January you'll see the final results for December. If any of your rooms didn't reach at least C tier, they won't show up in the summary tab. This was an oversight on our part, and we're fixing thanks to your feedback you submitted in the surveys and support tickets. Let us know how you like this feature and if you have any other suggestions. And that's pretty much what is new with this new room rewards coming soon. Of course, we'll just kind of have to wait and see how the tab looks, and uh, yeah, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Now, unfortunately, that is pretty much our entire news video. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about the weekly, about all the UI changes, about the bugs, and everything we talked about inside today's video. Thank you so much for reaching to this point in the video, and of course, if you guys haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, and if you guys actually want to go check out more Rec Room News content, you guys should see a video on this side of the screen or something. Shoot, maybe even share this video with a friend that plays Rec Room because they may want to know the latest Rec Room news. And of course, that's pretty much this entire video. Bye! Bye.